Hello, today we're going to be crocheting a corset top. A lot of you on my TikTok have been asking me to start making some tutorials, so I thought it would be easier to do it on YouTube because then I get more time to explain it and it might make a little bit more sense. So to make this top here, we're gonna be using a shell stitch and a lemon peel stitch. And these are probably better if you're a bit intermediate, but I'll try and explain it step by step if you're just a beginner. So I really hope that this makes sense. I haven't done a tutorial here on YouTube before, but We'll see how we go. All you're gonna need today is your yarn. I'm using this yarn. It is the Abbey Road Kung Fu Cotton Yarn. And I need a 5.5 millimeter hook, but of course I lost that. I'm gonna be using my 5.25 millimeter hook, which won't th make that much difference. You also might need some scissors. I've really been loving the sort of dainty and feminine style I've been seeing everywhere and especially in crochet. So I really wanted to implement that while I was making this top. I think that these two stitches that we're using today are just so pretty and encapsulate that sort of style. So let's get into it. Grab your crochet hook and let's start making this top. Okie dokie, so here I have got my yarn and as I mentioned before it's the Abbey Road Kung Fu Cotton Yarn and my crochet hook and some scissors. I would also just like to quickly add that I did freehand this top so I don't remember the exact measurements from the first one that I made but that's the cool thing about freehand crocheting or freehand knitting is that you can literally make it however you want and once you start to learn how to do that you can imitate other designs and even just normal tops like you can start to copy those patterns so i'll try and show you how i sort of freehand as well while we get into this this was the photo that i had on my depop so looking at where it stopped around my bust that's where i'm going to measure so however many chains it takes you to measure till you get to around there on your back that's what you want to do so i'm going to start by chaining. First up you want to make your slip knot. So I start by making an X on my fingers like that and then I just insert the hook there and pull that bottom loop. That's that's how I make a slip knot. Sorry that was really bad explanation but there are tons of videos on YouTube showing how to do that. So you want to start by chaining like so. So wrap around pull through, wrap around pull through and you're gonna chain as many as it takes <laughs> to fit around your waist. All right, so I just chained 88 and that's how many fits around my waist. So I'll just show you. So I've got my chain stitches here and then I'm gonna chain an extra two because we're going to be skipping those first two chains. So into, so we skip one and two and into the third stitch, you're going to do a double crochet. So how you do a double crochet, you yarn over push it through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through those two. So you're going to do three double crochets into this very same spot and then chain one and then do another three double crochets into that same spot there. So we have three double crochets there, a chain, and then three double crochets there. So that's our first stitch there. The next stitch that we're gonna be doing is sort of the opposite. So we're gonna be doing two double crochets and three chain stitches. So skip your two and into the third one, you're going to do start off with a double crochet and then chain three, one, two, three, and then do a double crochet. So those are the two alternating stitches that we're going to be doing throughout this whole process. So skip two into the third, you're going to chain, you're going to do a double crochet, one, two, three, chain one, and one, two, and three, and then skip two, so one, two, into the next one going to do your double crochet, chain three, and then insert the hook back in the same spot, double crochet. So you're just going to keep alternating between these two stitches and then do that the entirety of your chain stitches and I will meet you at the end. Okay, so I just finished this row here, my first row, and now I'm going to show you how to do the second row. 
So start by just chaining two and turning your work around. And then into these V sort of shapes, we're gonna be doing the shells. And into the shells, we're gonna be doing the Vs, if that makes sense. So into the V, we're going to be doing one, two, three, chain one, one, two, and three. And then into the shells where we chained one, that's where you're going to be inserting your hook. So into that space there, you're going to be doing double crochet, chain three, and double crochet into that blank spot there. And then right into the middle of the Vs is where we're going to be doing the shell. So one, two, three, plus one, two, oh, two, and three. And then you're just going to continue doing this the entire way down. And that is how you get this shell stitch. And it's actually an open shell stitch. Sorry, it's not a normal shell stitch. So just continue doing this until you've sort of reached your desired thickness and I will meet you back at the end. All right, I just finished the bottom half of the shirt and now I'm literally just gonna flip it upside down. So this is the first row that we did here. I'm gonna flip that upside down and that's where we're gonna be working to make the top half. So this is what it looks like so far. And now I'll show you how to do the lemon peel stitch to make the top. I'm also going to be switching colours to this white to make the top. Okay, so I've just got the bottom part of the shirt here and we're putting the first row that we did at the top. I also did six rows of shell stitches there. So we're now going to go in with my different colour and I'm going to be using this hook instead because the yarn's a bit thinner. So this is a 4.25 millimetre hook. And we're just going to start at the very end of the row. To start by inserting your hook I like to do it this way so that it's secure so I just put a knot there and then you can dot it again if you want because that'll make sure it's secure so once that's done then you can begin by I'm gonna do a single crochet the whole way along just for the first row and then we'll get into the lemon peel stitch after that so just do a single crochet for the entirety of this here Alrighty, so I just did that row of single crochets there with the white and now I'm going to start doing the lemon peel stitch. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So it's just going to be alternating single crochets and double crochets. So literally all you have to do is a single crochet followed by a double crochet, single crochet, double crochet and literally just keep doing that along. Alrighty, so now for the next part, you're just going to measure where you want your top to sort of have that cut out. Fold it in half, find where the middle is, which is right here, and pop that in the middle underneath your bust. And then I'm going to stop right here because that's where I want my first cut out to be. This, and I know that this is where I want my cut out to be. We're going to be chaining until we reach the middle. So let's have a look. So fold your work in half again. Find that middle spot, which is right here for me. And then just count how many single crochets you did. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's 12 until I reach the middle. So that's how many we are going to be chaining. So. One, two, th three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then just chain an extra one. So that's going to meet right in the middle there. Oh, and by the way, I did um, 21 stitches here as well. So after you've done this, these chains here, 13 chains or however many you've done, you're going to turn your work back around and you're gonna do the lemon peel stitch into these chain stitches here. So I'm gonna start with the double crochet. So it's 
So back ends up to some double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single, and just continue this until you reach your previous work. Alrighty, now that we've reached our lemon peel stitch from before, I'll teach you how to do the second row. So as you can sort of see, the ones that are more raised are the double crochets and the ones that are smaller are the single crochets. So for this row, we're gonna be doing double crochets into the small ones and single crochets into the double crochets. So just alternating from that first row. This one's a single crochet that I just went into, so I just did a double crochet there. This one's a double crochet, so I'm gonna be doing a single crochet. And then double into the single. And just continue doing that the entire way along. Now, you're gonna continue crocheting all the way along there until you reach your bust measurement. So however many rows that is. Yeah, I have just moved locations. I'm now at my grandma's house, but I'm going to continue filming this video for you guys. So I have done a little bit here of the lemon peel stitch. I thought I'd update you on how much I've done. And also the amount of rows that you do is how big it should be for you. This is currently what I have done. So I think I've done around 20 rows here. Um, just at the white and that's how much I measured to fit my bust so you can do as many or as little rows as you need it doesn't really matter um, but keep in mind this here will be cinched so that part there sort of turns into the under boob sort of part and I also think now that I'm looking at this I might add like a blue layer just to frame it but anyways um so after you've done this side you can go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side of your work so just start by chaining along the same amount of stitches you did on this side and then chain the same amount of stitches you did here so it should look exactly like this just on the other side so i made a little mistake so essentially because i was using a thinner yarn for the white it shouldn't have been 12 stitches it should have been more than that so it does not reach the middle at all this is what i've been left with that is the gap in the middle, which will honestly be okay. It's, it's workable. But my advice to you, if you're switching colors and you're using a thinner yarn, make sure you chain more because I did not do that. It'll still look okay. It'll just um, be a bit further apart, but yeah. But I'm also going to be adding the blue around the outside so I might do just like a couple more rows of that so that it's like closer in the middle. So I'm going to do that now and I'll show you how I do that if you're wanting to do the same sort of look. Alrighty, I did not bring my tripod to my grandma so please ignore how shaky this is. But I'm going to show you how to do this blue on the outside here. So just start by inserting your hook into the outside of the white and just secure it with a knot like so and then I'm just going to be doing single crochets just through all the loops of the white the only thing is when you get to the corners you want to do two single crochets I'll show you what I mean with this corner Okie dokie, so we're up to the corner, so just insert your hook, do a single crochet, and then just do another cro single crochet into that same spot, and then you can just start working on this row. And just keep doing that all the way along. I might stop when I, oh actually no, I'll do it all the way along until I reach the other side. And go around there up and around and then when you get to this side I'm gonna go back around the other way so it brings the middle parts a bit closer together alrighty so here's what I've ended up with now so I've got the two panels at the front and then the bottom part 
and I, as you can see it's like way closer now because I did two rows around the outsides. So now it's time to cinch it all together. So to make the cinching we're going to be threading yarn in and out, weaving it in and out all down there and then across and all up there and securing it at the top with a bow. Alrighty, now the back of the top is sort of like a corset style. We're just going to be threading yarn through, essentially like you're tying up shoelaces. So I'll show you how to do that. need to cut off all the loose ends and you are done this is what the back looks like I'll try it on for you now thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed coming along with me to make this top and I really hope that this tutorial made sense and I definitely hope to be making more of these in the future. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.